Hello and welcome to our live stream. Uh, super excited to be here. Today we're going to be talking about factory floor monitoring, machine learning, and video analytics. Uh, my name is Benjamin Preston. I am the marketing manager at Mobotics. And with me, we have David Tucker, who is the business development manager. David, I'm really excited to talk about this. I think this is going to be a great, great topic. I agree. I agree. Yeah. And um, I appreciate you joining me today to discuss the factory monitoring. Um, how's your week going so far, though? It's been good. It's been busy. Oh, I want to make sure to, to point this out, too. If anybody has any questions or comments, uh, before we get too far into the conversation, if anybody has any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments uh, of this video. Or you can email us if you have specific product questions, use cases, uh, if you need case studies, anything like that. Uh, feel free to get in touch with our team at us-salesatmobotics.com. Sorry, I wanted to make sure to add that in there. <laughs> yeah, that's key. How's your week been going? Uh, like you, busy as well. Uh, you know, weather's been a little crazy. It was snowing out here in Boise yesterday. Today is sunny all over the place, but uh, nah, it's going all right. Uh, love that. Yeah, summer <laughs> is right around the corner, and I'm here for it. Yeah. All right. So wait. let's jump in. Let's jump into factory floor monitoring. This is like a really big vertical for us in terms of products, in terms of things that we have. Um, so let's jump into it. Excellent. Excellent. So again, uh, my name is David Tucker with Mobotics. Uh, we help organizations secure their facilities and optimize their operations with the technology solutions that we provide. Um, when we work with partners in the manufacturing vertical, some things we see that they're focused on would be anti-theft, access control, process optimization, and safety. And now, Ben, from your standpoint, you know, on the marketing standpoint, are those things you see as well when you're um, here about manufacturing? Yeah, I think there's a lot of uh, intelligent use cases, especially when you think about kind of what cameras can do versus like an individual. If you hire like one security guard, for example, they're only able to watch where they're looking. And versus if you have you know an entire infrastructure of cameras, it just it helps with theft prevent like all the stuff that you mentioned. Yeah, that's definitely a lot of the stuff that we're seeing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so Mobotics provide tailored solutions to help with all aspects of the business. Um, kind of like you were saying that network. But again, we're focusing on the machine learning, uh, floor monitoring, um, and some things that are going on on the production floor would be things like, you know, what happens when a machine or a tool goes down? How much is production going to be affected by that machine going offline? Um, how much is that going to cost you to fix that equipment? Are you sure that your employees are following SOPs? Are your employees wearing their PPE? Um, what happens if there is an explosion or fire or some other, you know, safety concern? Uh, you know, Ben, again, you know, from the marketing side, are those common pain points that you uh you you, you know see come across your your radar yes yeah and i think i think the the biggest thing is a lot of businesses are looking at um cost optimization so you know the cost of investing in a camera let's say or analytics far as outweighs the cost of not a not having a machine or having something that breaks or inefficiencies or you know all of those things i think that's i mean we have a lot of case studies that reflect that too but um but yeah, I, I, that's 100%. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, really the things that stand out to me there, like when the machine goes down, you know, the time, the costs, you know, what it does to production, definitely things to be mindful of uh, when it comes to, you know, your floor monitoring. Uh, so Mobotics has solutions to help on all those fronts. And some of my favorite cameras that we have would be the M73 or S74. They're incredibly flexible and versatile. With these cameras, we're able to place them on your production floor and monitor your equipment. Um, so Ben, let me ask you a question. Would you say you're more a proactive or reactive person? I, I am proactive. And I think a lot of the people that are probably on here, if they're watching this, they're probably in that same camp, but yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, I'm, you know, early bird gets the worm, right? So <laughs> it's better to, you know, be on top of things early as opposed to, you know, the reactive sense where you're kind of behind the eight ball. Um, so, you know, another quick question. When I say thermal, what comes to mind? Um, for me, it, there's a lot of uh, like tracking, more like people tracking, or I'm thinking retail specifically, if, you know, heat tracking where people are going, heat mapping and stuff. 
this is me as a marketer. That's where my head goes is like retail. I think, I think right. what's really cool though, is we've had a lot of really interesting, I mean, internal conversations about use cases where it's tracking specific heat signatures or, you know, almost uh, like machines or battery packs or all of that stuff. And I think for manufacturing, there's a lot of untapped kind of potential in being able to monitor because like the thermal can, and I'm sure you're, you'll probably give, give us more info on this too, but I do think that thermals, especially like the M73 are, they're just so advanced, like yeah. the amount of stuff that they can kind of look at. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And you work in robotics, so you're kind of different, you know, yeah. we, we have those internal conversations yeah. um, about thermals and things and heat mapping. I love that. Um, you know, I think most people, when they hear thermal, they think of perimeter protection, military, you know, night vision goggles, things of that nature, which is true. You know, our thermal selections do, uh, solutions do a great job of detecting, you know, on the perimeter. But with in the machine aspect and, you know, on the production floor, our thermal NTR solutions can detect heat signatures and apply ranges based on the environment and the optimal temperature ranges for that equipment. So if an equipment on the floor falls below an optimal range, we know there's something wrong there, right? Um, it could be an early sign that is on its way to going offline. Um, and so with that, you seeing that that temperature is falling below where it should be, you can have your maintenance team jump on that right away and go check out that equipment and get it, make sure it's fixed and operating properly so you can avoid lapses in production. Um, and, you know, if, you know, maybe even a major overall or having to replace that machine, uh, you know, which, so that's time and money that is saved right there. On the flip side, you know, if the temperature on the equipment elevates above an optimal range, we also know there's something wrong there. And there's also probably a safety risk there, like fire or explosion. Um, and again, you can act quickly and get your maintenance team on it right away. Uh, because in this case with our cameras, monitoring these solutions, it's going to catch that and pick it up. But it's also going to send out alerts to yourself or whoever on your team needs to know that, hey, I need to get over there and check that out. So again, you're going to avoid production issues. But more importantly, you're going to ensure the safety of your team and facility, which, you know, safety is what it's always about. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would say it's definitely better to be proactive as opposed to being caught off guard and wishing that you were better prepared. Now, as I mentioned, um, our cameras are incredibly flexible. You can have thermal solutions like we just discussed and incorporate other solutions that are tailored to your needs as well. And the beautiful thing is that you can get that all in one camera. Now on that camera, uh, we can deploy apps that we ha have available. And no, I'm not talking about Instagram or Bleacher Report or anything like that. Uh, we have apps like Intrusion Pro, which detects intrusion into sensitive areas by crossing of a virtual line. Um, Analytics AI, which detects objects, counts persons, detects movements in restrictor areas and creates heat maps, which is what you mentioned, Ben. Um, and then license plate recognition, um, vehicle license can be recognized and, can, you know, you can create block or allow lists. Um, so you really have that access control to know who's coming onto your property. Um, and we've got many more apps. Uh, you know, you know, Mombotics is all about providing tailored solutions to help you know what's going on at your facility. So speaking of knowing what's happening at your facility, our solutions will advise you if your team members are doing things like wearing the necessary PPE when they're supposed to, which is another app in our portfolio. Um, and you can monitor what your team is doing on the floor. Um, you have a camera that is providing amazing image clarity and resolution. So, you know, you can have that thermal aspect, that thermal sensor, and also that image sensor and combine that in one. So you're really getting, you know, a real sense in real time of what's going on on your floor. Um, and with that, you know, that camera, you can also ensure that your team is following the right procedures. So, you know, SOPs are being followed, incident review. If anything comes up there, um, you have that camera there to be able to go and see that footage, uh, you know, which is key. Also, even in, you know, in insurance cases. So, you know, you really get a tactics from a, a mini prong solution. Um, and then our cameras also have the ability to play messages that have been pre-recorded or you can play messages in real time um, and i know you know a lot of 
partners, they love that aspect because say there is a safety concern or anything like that, they can alert their team that they need to evacuate the area. And again, that goes back to that safety aspect. Uh, so Ben, when you know you kind of hear some of these things, does any of that catch your eye? What do you love about those things that our cameras do? Yeah, I feel, so one of the things that you mentioned earlier is I think there's just so much flexibility because you have obviously like the Mobotics camera, which is, if you think about it, is like lens, it's a decentralized kind of basically a computer. But it's so interesting to me because you have, you, you laid out like a lot of use cases. So you said temperature is too low, temperature is too high, you have perimeter, you have LPR, you have intrusion, like there's so many different apps or different things that you can integrate. So like truly in my mind, if somebody is looking or a partner or an end customer even is looking for a manufacturing solution and they have a very specific need or they have a very specific problem that they're trying to solve. And in my mind, I mean, all of the things you listed are like, yes, I'm interested. Yes, I'm interested. Yes, I'm interested. Um, but it's 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 almost like such a nuanced uh, kind of thing where you're like, yep, we have an app for that. We have an app for that. We have an app for that. And catching every single thing that people are doing. So there's truly like a camera that fits uh, whatever people are looking for. And I think when we're looking at like the uh, production floor, that, I mean, even the the efficiencies of the machines, like you talked about, the being too hot, being too cool, like not hot enough, but then also the efficiencies, the SOPs, making sure that the people kind of part of it is also being efficient as well. Because I think that's probably a, a struggle for a lot of people, unless you have a floor manager literally watching people all day for eight hours a day, or how you know however long they're operating. Mm -hmm. It's it's. Yeah, that's, that's a huge, I mean, I see dollar signs when that happens, because if I'm a business owner, I'm a manufacturing company, and I'm looking at, I can make sure my machines are effective, I can make sure my everything's producing the way that it's supposed to, but then I can also make sure that my employees are also being efficient and safe, you know, making sure right. that they have hard hats and all that stuff too. So yeah, I just, it's so interesting to me hearing, you know, you guys talk about this is how different things are working, or this is how different apps can, can solve problems, because it's just, it's amazing to me how flexible they are. Yeah, I love the flexibility of our cameras, too. And, you know, I love the many apps we have. But for us, I know, um, you know, as BDMs, we really, uh, you know, we can throw everything under the sun at you, but that's not what we want to do. We really want to yeah. consult with you, hear the pain points and be able to, you know, provide tailored solutions to you. And I mean, so um, that's huge for us. And something you said, too, that I really liked um, that I was going to mention, actually, is that you know, our cameras are more than just a camera. It's more of a computer with the lens and brings that those real time solutions. Um, and and I, to me, you can't beat that. Yeah. Uh, you know, something that's a real differentiator for us. Um, and just some some few aspects here that I want to bring up, you know, um, with our cameras, bringing those real time solutions. We're also going to bring cybersecurity. Uh, we're NDA compliant and extremely proud of that certification i mean uh ben how often do you do you hear that so you know that cybersecurity aspect yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, i mean it's a big it's a big people i mean especially now and i hate to say this but like the world is so crazy and there's just so many things that happen and i mean cybersecurity hackers it's it's a big thing there's a lot of data or a lot of money to be made off of the data from cyber hacking um and i feel like cybersecurity, at least with something like a camera that not only has all your information on it, but it has all of these kind of pre-programmed rules that you talked about in terms of efficiency, like the pre-recorded messages that has all of these uh, things that you set up that are sensitive to your business that if it, you, you want to make sure that they are not hackable. <laughs> you want to make sure that they're, you know, the highest level of compliance that you can get, which the NDAA for people who don't know, and I'll just plug this because I don't, I mean, I assume everyone on, on that's watching this live stream knows NDAA is a certification or a compliance that businesses can get based on where they're sourcing their uh, products from. So non-Chinese based products uh, and, and our, all of our cameras are compliant with that, with that compliance, uh, NDAA compliant. Yeah, I love that. Um, it comes up in pretty much every conversation that I have. Um, and like I said, Mobotics is extremely proud to have, you know, wear that, have that badge and we wear it with honor. Um, another thing with our cameras, you know, we can cover more area 
with less cameras. Um, and that's something that comes up in a lot of conversations that I have, uh, you know, because we're not going to come in and say, oh, stick a camera here, here, here to try to get our dollars up. Like, no, we we want to, you know, myself and, you know, our technical project engineers, when we go in and we start to hear and in that consultation process and hear exactly what's going on, then we start to lay out and, you know, we're going to do it the right way um, and not just stick stuff up there for any other reason. And it also speaks to our cameras again that more computer with the lens and you know the capabilities that it they have are amazing um but the biggest thing for me when we speak on you know covering more with less cameras is the roi factor mm -hmm. and reducing the stress on your systems um and you know we pair it from a lot of it you know the background of those folks how much they love that reducing the stress on their system and making it easier installs i mean yeah you can from a number of different angles that's a great thing um, and then probably my one of my favorite things about our cameras, they are robust. Um, they're built for extreme conditions. Um, we have cameras up on glaciers and in the desert, and they've been running for, you know, 10 to 12 years easy with no maintenance. You know, our cameras are going to run like prefontaine. I mean, the, you know, we have an 80,000 hour mean time before failure. So uh, that to me is huge. Um, and that's that ROI factor again, you know. Um, and I was, body, yeah, I wanted way. to add in there. We actually, we actually have a couple of webinars that are coming up specifically talking about durability because we had a camera that like melted or some, something happened where it literally melted everything except for like the outer layers and the camera still functions or like, you <laughs> know, sure. like you mentioned, we have one on Mount Everest, like just the craziest, the craziest places that our cameras are and they function perfectly. So I just wanted to plug that because we're going to have webinars um, upcoming actually with Scott to talk about the durability of some of our cameras. Yes, yeah, Scott's the man. And yeah. Um, yeah, I love in that camera that melted, that was in a manufacturing environment. Um, so, and it still was working, like you said, and I know we do great with super extreme heat, super extreme cold, um, dust, all those type of things that you find in those common manufacturing environments, our cameras are built to last. Um, and again, really gonna bring that, that ROI um, and that's something, you know, as I kind of round it out here is Mobotics takes pride in that. We take pride in innovation, return on investment, solving challenges and integration. Uh, you know, Mobotics solutions will really help provide the peace of mind for your employees, your visitors and business as a whole. Yeah, no, I, I think that's great. I, I really love this topic. I just think manufacturing stuff, there's so many different use cases that people can get out of it. Um, so yeah, I, and I want to just reiterate too, if anybody has comments, questions, anything, feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, otherwise you can email us, you can get in touch with our team at uh, us sales, us sales at mobotics.com. We'll also drop that in the comments below as well. Um, yeah. And I, I mean, I really love this topic. I'd love to hear everybody that's on that's watching this webinar. Um, what you're thinking, if you have other questions about use cases, things like that, feel free to reach out to David. Um, I'll drop his, his stuff down here. Uh, David Tucker, he's the business development manager. Um, yeah, that's cool. So David, any other, any other things before we wrap up? No, this was um, just super cool. I'm glad that I was able to, you know, connect with you and kind of speak on it because um, like you were saying, the solutions that we can provide to help in a number of different fronts is huge um, safety, uh, you know, business wise, that business sense, uh, you know, return on investment. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a lot of capabilities and in, in, in opportunity here. Yeah, I totally, totally agree. Um, and, the, and the one thing I want to add before we wrap up, uh, obviously, if anybody wants to get in contact with us, feel free to email us. We also have a lot of case studies, a lot of marketing material on the Mobotics website. Um, talking about uh, not only our apps, like David mentioned, um, but also manufacturing the vertical specific, what have other companies done? I know we have a case study out there that refer or that had one company that saved uh, $700,000 by installing a couple cameras in there, a couple cameras and uh, apps in their specific facility. So we have a lot of really cool stuff. If you're kind of wanting to learn more about our uh, manufacturing solution, what we can do, um, I'll also drop that in the comments below too, in case anyone is interested. Um, but with that, I think, I think that's everything. So, um, David, I want to say thank you for taking time to chat. I know I always find this, these conversations super interesting. So, um, yeah, 
So I appreciate it. Uh, and thank you everybody for joining. If you have any other ideas or comments or anything, again, leave them in the comments below. Sounds good. Thanks, folks.